In a nutshell, a jam is a collaborative online organisation wide conversation to achieve a real strategic change for that organisation. So we usually run a jam over three, four or five days and I found that a jam can be a really powerful way to get many, many people across the organisation contributing their ideas, adding to other people's ideas and starting to make a real transformational shift. There are many reasons why you might want to run a jam in your organisation. If I can just give you three examples. So the first one is implementing a new business strategy and getting all of your employees involved with that. The second one is to improve employee engagement. And the third one is a learning jam to really accelerate learning across the whole organisation. So in all of those cases, they're really good ways of getting your people involved to achieve um, a real strategic change and start making that transformational shift that you're aiming to achieve. There's a constant web of conversations going on in every organisation. So for me, a jam is a really great way to surface those conversations and capture the ideas from our people right across the whole organisation. Recently, I've been in so many conversations about leading complex change and leading systemic change across the whole organisation. And a jam is a really great way of cutting across the organisational boundaries so that you can go up and down in every organisation and across and collaborate across everybody in the organisation. Through a jam, two main things happen. Firstly, of course, we generate all of those ideas and capture them. But perhaps what we don't see quite so easily is the shift in people's mindsets that starts to happen during the actual jam itself. Before the jam even starts, we put really careful thought into the question that we're going to ask, and therefore the challenge that we're going to give everybody to help us solve. We also think very carefully about the topics or the main themes that we want to discuss during the jam, and we set those up in the jam before we even started. Then typically what happens is over the first day or so, people, some people join in very quickly, other people will sit back and watch and just see how it goes. Then as the jam progresses, typically more and more people join in. And towards the end of the jam, you can see this great torrent of ideas starting to come out and with, where people are really trying to help solve the problem and come up with solutions and ideas. One of the great beauties of the jam is that people can join as and when they can fit it in around their day job. So they can join literally any time of the day or night and from any time zone, so it can cut across all geographic boundaries. I've seen jams just generate so much interest, enthusiasm and energy with people just chipping in their ideas and joining in the conversations with their colleagues across the world. So although the jam itself is a really highly engaging event for everyone, it's really also what happens afterwards that's so important. So we are very careful to analyse every single comment that's made in the jam and look for actions, decisions and all those great ideas.